Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings, I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al-Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the Scepter. Welcome! Welcome. Hello! Good to see you. How lovely to see so many friendly and familiar faces here today. And this has been a dream of mine for a And as all Less prisoner sides and respectable pounds of But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was worthy of the great Al Ghazali legacy. So, I would like to thank my cousins, without whose friendship and influence this machine might not have been possible. Thank you. I'm proud to yet again immortalize our great family. Watch most of all. This building is all the people. The tallest building in the Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. You'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Hello, I don't mean to prove 
just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. You... Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? Can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. My body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, I was just asking nicely. No, you were being a bitch. Now go away and be a Jesus and celery or whatever it gets like you do. Or do something worse than blowing cancer in your face. Oh my god, what is your problem? <coughs> you are sick. You have no idea. Greeting. Hold it, sir. Sir, I'm sorry. That's this is good, a restricted sir. area. Keep going. Sir, get out my way. Sir, if you want to get through, I'm going to have to pad you down. Won't take a second, sir. Right, that's it. Keep moving, please. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be Greetings, with you shortly. Sir. Thank you.
Please, take a seat. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Hi there, friend. Good afternoon. This is quite the ceremony. I was thinking, upstairs, as I understand, it's the Royal Highness's private penthouse. It must be quite the view up there. Do you think you could get me access to there? I mean, it would really make my day. Sorry, I have no idea. You should talk to security. I just work down here. All right, thanks for your help. This stinks of something. Mr. Look, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Talk to me again.
Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Just keep calm. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim. Looking good, man. Looking good. So, do you like the building? This has been His Royal Highness's dream. I think for even longer than I have known him. Everything here is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is cleaned and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. with some kind of state allowance for the answer. Same thing would be true. I'm not suggesting a revolution. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian desert. It's a sight to behold, the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible because of all the smog. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Yes, your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. We have Ingram have right where we want him. Excuse me for a second. 47, you know home. what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something hey, to behold. Hey, I don't. Stay for the meeting, I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, has told you. 
But my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by cutting it out of the gut, if you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This little turd is spreading his vile, toxic cells, and I want him stopped. Brutally. Chemo won't remove him. Only the knife. I have his file here. Arthur Edwards. A sly little devil, if there ever was one. Me and my associates, well, we underestimated the little worm. We want revenge. I think you and I share a common interest. I doubt that. But I want you to make him suffer. This is not a horse that needs to be put out of its misery. This is a rabid dog that needs to be put down. Am I making myself clear, Mr. Kazim? Yes. Consider it done. Good. We're now in business. We are. I'll have Miss Toe send you anything you need. We're done here. Oh, uh, one last question. I'm just curious. You're nicknamed the Vulture. Why? I find it's best to wait for the perfect kill. I think you'll be perfect for the job. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kazim. I look forward to receiving an update. Safe hunting. Guard. Yes, Mr. Ingram? Please show Mr. Kazim out. Yes, sir. Mr. Kazim, please follow me. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Stay away from me, sir. You could get hurt. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked.
I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Sheikh Al-Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Everything looks fine. Oh, damn, my guys are stupid. I'm sick of coming down here. System online. Yes, sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Ah, uh, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding golf ball. I don't want blood on my hands. I've never taken things to such an extreme before. Uh, yes. I promise I'll start attending anger management. I know I have issues. Admit <gasps> That's the best step, right? <clears throat> yeah, I've locked the golf ball up in the maintenance one. Not that many of us. I love you too. I'll be home as soon as possible. Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Good. 
we're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. It looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Handy. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. Partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. Now we'll just wait for the partners to be alone. Then you can activate the room's lockdown feature. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? You, you're the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank, and you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Finish it. Hell no! 47. Finish it. Where the hell is that security panel? <clears throat> Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town.
that's your winning face, I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Now nah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once, we can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the Constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, 
younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. You guys planning to give the whole grounds an overhaul? I think so. A funeral is a big event. A lot of important people will be here. Thank you. arrangements for the stage funeral tomorrow what's the delay it's the birds they're making a racket droppings everywhere the undertaker wants them gone before he'll see madame carlisle he's in a right state so unless you want to take on the birds i suggest you stay clear of him oh no my aim's horrible stay madame carlisle is still going ahead with her staged funeral tomorrow and she wants to inspect the arrangements how about it 47 you feel up to giving her the grand tour of her final resting place? Everyone, if I just wait here till he says he's ready for madam.
work on my aim. I'll never get rid of those stupid birds. Get it. Plants are better company than people. Finally, the birds are gone. Yes. Perfect. I'll let her know. Well done, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way. I wonder how she will like her final resting ground. Mr. Parsons, I don't like to be kept waiting. I trust we can be efficient now I'm here. I can be very efficient, Madame Carlyle. What's that picture of me doing here? What an awful idea. I want it removed before the ceremony tomorrow. I must say, I don't care much for the choice of flowers, either. I need a moment to consider what I want. What's that podium? I find that having family members do the eulogy is more often than not a toe-cringing affair. I've never understood the need to publicly display grief. A person died. The most natural thing in the world. No need to make an emotional spectacle of it. <coughs> I hope you haven't planned for one of those. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards.
Looking good today, sir. Did you give the Fitzpatrick token to Madame Carlyle's daughter? Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why well, I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler? Oh, of course. Can I do anything for you? Uh, yes, actually. Could you speed up time so I don't die from boredom? I fear I may not survive the time. That's a token for a vault in the Milton Fitzpatrick London Bank. You need a pair, and you gain access no questions asked. I bet that's where Madame Carlyle keeps a copy of the Edwards file.
Mission complete. Well done, 47. Hotel booked, car packed, all ready to go when I got the call. But why did tears in her eyes? Don't say no to that fallout. Maybe someone should. Forty-seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! Stay down. Boss wants you alive. Yeah? How about now? Over here! Cover me! Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. 
Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. been compromised. Abort and walk away now. Who? ICA. They tracked me. Don't know how. It's what they do. How many? One prime asset and a whole pack of up-and-comers. They've infiltrated the club searching for us. Christ, I think I killed one of them. Get out now before they spot you. No. They found us once. They'll find us again. <sighs> Keep your head down. I'll take care of this. I haven't seen so much as an owl out here yet. Just Thank a lot you. of trees. This is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Just keep trying, Agent Montgomery. Our client considers Agent 47 and Olivia Hall as a serious threat. You can't underestimate them. I never do, Joe. We'll find them. 
We're all in position. Good. Report back to me if there's anything. Don't worry. Hey, it's Alfred. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm delayed, but uh, someone must have moved my bike, and I can't find my, you know, allergy pills. <laughs> you know, they seem to have just gone. You know, like kaput. Well, yeah, I'm looking. Okay, it's it's very annoying, but I'll, I'll meet up with you inside once I find them. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you later. Philip. Hello. I I'm a professional. No need to worry. I got this. Okay, sure. Did it call again? Yeah, it's fine. I'm right there. Just waiting to make a little transaction of my own. Then I'll drop it off. Yeah, I know. It's on a receipt, right? Ring the doorbell at the drop-off. Wouldn't have killed the guy to meet me outside, but what the hell do I care, right? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to be on the phone when my dealer shows. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Bye. You have your ticket on you? Come on. What's this ticket shit even about? Is it for nothing?
someone should go and see. Now. It's Tremaine, reporting in.
Wow. Give me a hint. What's wrong? Mistakes with blood. Stop wasting time and end this. anticipating every move we make. He might be listening in. There's no other explanation for it. Go silent, we can't risk it. It's Agent Swan checking in. I haven't seen anything unusual yet. Well, beyond the kind of unusual you'd expect here anyway. Stop talking. Focus on finding him. Thanks a lot. Agent Swan. Get some help. Agent Swan, are you still there? That's our fourth man down. My God, this is an embarrassment. How do you expect to look each other in the eyes after this? Get your asses in gear, man. How hard can it be? Agent Thames reporting in. No sign of target. Just remember your breathing and stay on task. Agent Thames.
Hey, welcome to the team. What do you mean? Well, you're new, aren't you? I haven't seen you before. Yeah, I suppose I'm new. Oh, how would you like it? Fun? I mean, the pay is not great, but free drinks, cheap gear. What more do you want? Look, I'm sure you're very nice and interesting, but I have to get back to work. Well, okay. Evacuate to the area immediately. Roger. They got my message. Where are you? Diner. Up the main road. On my way. You're hurt. You should see the other guy. Never killed nobody before. What you did back there. You really are all Gray said you'd be. 47. He didn't suffer, did he? He made it count. And yet, here we are. Status quo. It just goes to show 
You can't fight power, Miss Burnwood. Power never dies. It only changes hands. The best you can do is claim it. I never cared about power. Power is a tool, Miss Burnwood. It's the thing that gets you to the thing. As the next constant, you can be the agent of change. Transform the system from the inside, or be transformed by it. No risk, no reward. I'll need to think about it. No, you won't. The real question is, what will you bring to the table? Sir. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him. Way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look. I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. I see, eh? I used every encryption known to man. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. <sighs> you and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public. You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kedanyang who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce the proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core, and I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building, while Imogen Royce, the archivist, 
runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. Shouldn't be out here with a bad influence. So sore. Why is that? I fell over because a homeless woman suddenly jumped up right in front of me. She was hiding in a hole with cardboard covering her. I nearly stepped my right through. Wow. So I was laying. Sorry, sir. I cannot let you through. I've got my orders. Yeah, now get out of here, you idiot. an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing what I'm Yes, so sorry about your flight. Just so, someone is here for a tour of the facility. Might be a way to get in. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. chance to look. This room's so clean you could eat your dinner off the damn floor. I can tell you that much.
Hello, Mr. Pritchard. I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Chanting here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision. Inside that room. You can learn so much about someone from what they keep around. It's just... Evening. Hey there, you can go right in. Kitchen. He went straight to... Just glad it's not me! Are you hungry, sir? Hi, Oliver. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes. I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. 
We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have. Without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, that can be, in fact, a front that lets all ICA personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. Let's step inside. Continue the tour. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular build that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible MO. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order but have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the step. Where did he go? Mr. Pritchard, you're back. Let's continue. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. I need your P41 to start the clearance procedure. Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. Access granted. search you, sir, if you want to come through this way. This'll just take a sec, sir. Thank you. Good, you're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. 
All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID Don't analysis. Don't have clearance to open Fully anonymized, door. of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. Security protocol overruled. Good. I'm in. And you're safe. Evening. That was a close one. There's no way you're getting through that door, 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. Perfect the signal is time. encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. Through. Let's continue. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm thinking about getting into some of those so, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operations. We, and we alone, store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting, target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task, and on top of that, we have a dual human authentication process set up. All access and alterations to the source are authenticated by Hush and Royce through that implant. Oh, good. There she is. Hi, Imogen Royce. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Likewise. After you. This is the blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily core maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the core room. The doors to the core room are all equipped with... You know what, screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cunning to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You? No way. Jesus! Will you quit that? Why would you strike? Well, anyone, you don't hit me. Good, that's Imogen Royce down. Take care of Hush and we can get to the core.
sorry to wake you up, but I think I forgot to turn off the coffee machine when I left. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So my curtains had fire. Rain, rain, nothing but rain. You can say that again. I wouldn't mind promotion to the right. In the block. That flyer they started handing out to the homeless really got them flowing in. Yeah. Sir, you've got the wrong place. You don't qualify for the homeless shelter. Hi. I'm gonna be rich. Get the hell out of here. I got this flyer, and it says I can make a lot of money to be in some experiment. That's got Hush written all over it. Using the desperate for personal gain. Maybe this is a way for you to get to the bastard. This is super uncomfortable, sir. We don't want people like us. Don't do it. Oh, I'm going. This is my chance. I just need to find out where it is. Uh, the flyer has a symbol I need to find on the building. Get an umbrella when I'm rich. I am boots. Sit down, get a house. I'm never. Dead. Hi there. Looking good. Let's Looking get good. you out of the rain, shall we? We just need to frisk you first. Uh, well, this is awkward. Hi there. Let's get you out of the rain, shall we? We just need to frisk you first. If you want to come through this way, I'm going to have to do a quick pat down. Feels good, huh? Bet it does, pretty boy. And you are good to go, sir. Thank you. Gone. What's that smell? It's you. Oh, how can you stand it? Your clothes are so filthy, I can literally taste the stench. When did you last change your outfit? Seriously. I change my clothes all the time. Yeah, I bet you do. It's in there. Go take a seat. Yes. They'll get you, you and the other guys through the sign. Compensation the compensation to the above mentioned is part of the agreement when signed. And you waive all future rights to seek further compensation? Yes. Who would you like to benefit from the proceedings if you yourself are incapacitated? Would you excuse me? Oh, so Hush likes the last one I sent up to the top floor. 
He'll be the one to conclude this fate. I knew Hush would be pleased. He signed up for the full package. Strong, too. I'll wrap up down here. Thanks, Jun Lee. I was just informed that we don't need any more test subjects tonight. I don't understand. There's no work? Oh, no. There will be more to come. Depending on the results of the conclusion to this test phase, come back tomorrow and we'll schedule a new spot for you. Come in and take a seat. Hey, how you doing? I'm sorry to inform you that we have all the test subjects we'll need for tonight. But you're welcome to fill in your information now and come back tomorrow. A guard is waiting outside the door. He'll escort you out of the building when you're done. Help yourself to an apple. Fear trouble. I do need my vitamins. the subject out of the building when he comes out. Understood. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, follow me. Those exercises been doing anything for that shoulder of yours? It's a little sore. Security's tight today. They can't let any of you guards through here. What is it about stop freaking trespassing that you don't understand? That's bugging me a bit, but I'll live. Research is going well, sir. How's that leg healing up? Have you been doing all that shit with resistance bands? Oh, I can definitely feel it. But at least it doesn't keep me in bed anymore when it docks it out. Hear stuff, but I, I don't understand half of it. It is a little freaky, though. This home up here is actually my. Not as mine. Precisely, John. steps to get there, each and every one of those compared to a once-in-a-lifetime discovery. You're moving on to memory recollection in the next phase, right? Yes. He's creating the perfect primer for rewiring preferences. We're making history. Have you ever had a crisis of conscience? No. But rock. Got 
just want to see if you're doing okay. I... I don't understand what is happening to me. He's in the bathroom. I'm ready to experiment. Oh, good. I'll let Cicely know to join us for the experiment, then. That's him. Hush the bastard. Wow. He looks a lot now. older. Come on. Well, He's ready for you, Hush. He looks strong. Good. A good specimen to conclude this phase. We'll get started when Sister Lay is here. Subject came to his senses, I see. Good. Sister Lei, yes. We're about to perform the final test of this project phase. Sit. One on one with Hush 47. Make him hurt. Ready when you are. Jun Li. Let's start at 100% signal strength. No. I mean, no, there's no need. The subject is clean, cooperative. I was thinking 25% and then adjust if necessary. 60% is minimum. We'll get no motor control below, and I'm not wasting my time. But... 60. Log concluding experiment H109 initiated. Run calibration 60%. Signal strength 60% confirmed. H109 initiated. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. The signal's too low. The signal's too weak. We'll get nothing like this. Go to 100%. It's not safe. You've been working too hard. With your condition, it can cause you real physical harm. It's safe. You're strong. You can overcome it. 100%. Do it. Log. Continuing experiment H109. Run calibration 100%. Signal strength 100%. Confirmed. H109 initiated. Now I'll see you dance. Identify impulse string. Load suggestion, motor control, 44.1. Execute. It's too low. He's got spirit. God damn it. Not again. Nothing. He is a strong man. Quiet. I can't focus. Abort! You're going too far. No. He's on the verge to break him. Go higher. It'll kill him. It's already way beyond reasonable intensity. This subject is abnormally resistant. 
is no match for hush. Nothing worth shit ever came to be without pain. I am calling it quits, Hush. You need rest. Uh, okay, okay. A short break. Uh, I'll return with a clear head. God damn that assistant. If they'd up the signal, it will kill him. Stay here, okay? Don't even think about getting cold feet again, please. I'm here to the end. to anyone. Us. Where's Jun Li? Never mind her. I'll take over. Let's pick it up where we left off, Sister Lady. At the same signal strength. Yes, 100%. I feel strong. I can take him. Take a seat. Log, continuing experiment, H109. Run calibration, 100%. Signal strength, 100% confirmed. H109 initiated. Good. All good to go. Identify impulse string. Load suggestion, motor control, 44.1. Execute. Nothing. He is. Uh, He'll get nowhere like this. I don't understand. No one's ever resisted like this before. Let's increase the signal and get some results. What do you say? Do 120%. 120. Good. Let's do it. Continuing experiment, H109. Run calibration, 120%. H109 continued. 120% signal strength confirmed. Yes. This is it. It's all incredibly sharp. I feel my mind expanding. Identify impulse stream. Load suggestion. Motor control, 44.1. Execute! I... I feel... I'm not scared of you. I could... Both targets down. Good. Huh? Just give me a second. And... Them. I'm in. You can now access the core, 47.
I've just read the design doc for the next Subjects' emotions like a piano. Yes, and past emotions form future decisions. Sure, it's common. When it blinks, that's what he's trying to do. Bruce said that if I see it blinking, I should think of something dangerous, like an attacking crocodile. It would scare him away. He's having you on. I just isn't reading mine. He's controlling me. Hey, how's your back doing lately? Are you still keeping up with those stretches? Oh. Welcome. Please follow the grey line to security check. Hey, thank you. Sorry to wake you up, but I think I forgot to turn off the coffee machine when I left. <laughs> Listen, sir, there's no drama. I just need to check your pockets if you want to pass. Okay, thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. You don't have clearance to open this door. What is it, Jamie? What's wrong? I don't know. I'm just worried about the scan. What? But why? It's just something... Scan initiated. Scanning all body systems. Scanning hormonal profile. Scanning chemical profile. Scan complete. Thank you for your patience. Access denied. Access granted. If you want to get past me, I have to frisk project? you first. I'm sure That's not open brilliant. for discussion. Could be. Her programming is... You like that spy talk. stuff, pal? I'm sure you perfection. do. Everybody Powerful loves that exactly stuff. Exactly where it's needed, and so natural. Thank you. Like, you see it, and so that's exactly how Security. 
security protocol overruled. Good. You're alone. I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. Clients, operatives, every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. Starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. I choose him. The two of you go way back. I didn't realize that you. I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Shit! I missed that. We're blown, 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the fence to get out. Go! Now! All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. Warning. Core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning. Fire detected. Initiated. Anybody copy? No sign of it. Warning. Core overheating. Command, you got nothing. Stand by. Warning. Fire detected. Man, nothing in my position. Over.
overheating. data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world, the so-called ICA files, the disclosure of a... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know, most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered, he is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. something. 
Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. We won't fall. We just... and we are good. And look at the gorgeous view. You know it will be worth it. You are making me feel very uncomfortable. Can you just go Ready, away? Pam. Three, two, one, and... For more than two decades... Oh, cut, Neil. What's this asshole doing in my shot? I'm sure the gentleman didn't mean to, Pam. Jeez, can you believe these people? I think the whole... Jeez, can you believe these people? Mr. Yates, it's Aaron, sir, fr from the firm. Don't I came as quickly as I could. Yes, sir, I have the file. Sorry it took so long, but I had to access our remote server to print everything, and I, I couldn't get my VPN to... Right. Sorry, sir. I'll be right inside.
180 degree turn, man. Back to William Kelly. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, señor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party. Tamara Vidal, I'm here for the tour, it seems. Ah, yes, Miss Vidal. My apologies, I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. Luther, Burnwood's flying solo. I want all eyes on you. Let's see what she does. And Luther, hey, how you doing? pre-deploy the birds and key in on the party area. We spread too thin, too many blind spots. Anyone as much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I want to know about it. They're all done. And I see your tour guide is none other than Gabriel Varga. Borbo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sentimental. A private tour of the estate. Diana. Vidal and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I got your message. You aren't telling me what I'm... Okay. Nothing quite spoils a party like you. Yeah. This is inexplicably dropping dead. In fact, a couple of spots come to mind. On the tour or after. Oh, stand by. So you're not sure yet? Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught? I mean... You do realise the risk here, boss. Broad daylight. Workers around. Who exactly is this bird? It's a nice gesture, but yeah, right. resting, you say. But if I'm going to be one of these heralds, of yours, you need to start letting me in on things. I'd say Yates is at the top of a very short list. So, how do you feel about her? How do you think? She and her friends killed Yamazaki. And probably Rasta. How is she fit to be a herald? Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy it. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a 
I see a regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. That's a boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes, yes it was. But I noticed your bringing. What? What is he now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? As if I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialite friends. Yeah, it's only that. harvest season. You. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. You want to get on the bad side? Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me over a bridge. How's that? Mm. Three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Come on. I left it right here. Seriously, who takes it? Please, please, no! Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good now. Let's see. Keep that color. Good size, large and firm. Seeds brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Mm. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. Inform the workers, will you, Ramon? I... I have a third to contact. Will do. Hello, wine lovers. Hello. Welcome yeah. to Viñeda Yates. 
I do apologize for the delay. At the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief one maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. Mm. So, how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Mandibula. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. These big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser before the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you? I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. I'm interested in these containers. Ah, yes. Our large fermentation tanks are constructed from solid French oak and each contain up to 500 gallons of grey mast. Interesting. Are those cooling sockets? They are indeed, senor. The cooling system allows us to fine-tune the entire process. Temperature, humidity levels, etc. Our goal here at Higuera Yates is quite simple. From a state-of-the-art winemaking facility, our carefully nurtured grape stock, hand-picked with loving care by local experts, we have only one purpose, to make the best vinos in Argentina and beyond. Well, looks like an accident waiting to happen. Occupational hazard. Hey, Burnwood? find her way out. Let's proceed. So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. And so we arrive to our final stop. The barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. 
The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Ah, here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Herald get-together up at the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine Herald. Once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? Aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just been meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine, some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence, a calculated risk. It already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you.
the 1945 Grand Paladin? It is perfection, irreplaceable. You don't drink the 1945 Grand Paladin any more than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Oh, men like Don Yates know the price of everything, but the value of nothing. I am sorry, Padron. Say, what if we exchanged the labels? Served him a different wine. Ah, you are devious, Santino. But, no. If Mr. Yates wishes to destroy something beautiful, I will not stand in his way. That is between him and his creator. How did he even get his hands on a bottle? I hear the last of the 45s was sold to Sheikh Omar Al Ghazali for $600,000. Most expensive bottle ever sold. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, a curious story. See, that bottle you refer to came from a case of 12, which were recovered from a sunken Carlisle shipping container that went down in the South China Sea during the final days of World War II. You know, of those 12, only five were raised intact. Al Ghazali bought one under great media coverage, while the others simply disappeared quietly obtained by some clandestine private collector. Until one of the bottles was donated to Mr. Yates by Byron Washington, CEO of the Pax Mundus Foundation, as a reward for winning a court case. Now, Byron's twin daughters were treasure hunters, so that explains how he managed to get first pick. Ah, but you see, I... Here, when the bottle arrived, and the crate it arrived in bore a curious logo. Something called the Ark Society. Intriguing. Do you know what it means? Well, not a clue. And now, we will never know. Well, don't get attached, Santino. For all fine things in life are transient. Flowers, over here, come on, while we're young. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Lady? Manly. Go on, get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting offed.
good, looking good. I need to search you if you want to pass. Hey, stop twitching. You're not making my life easy here. Okay. You are good to go. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, Your Majesty. I have always considered the Heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin, one of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary, a proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot, the wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society an acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, uh, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Oh, I Absolutely. agree. Absolutely. Perhaps Edward simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. I mean, what, what the hell? The You're lying, saying? of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. 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 I agree. Yes. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way.
We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. This is what you will all attest to. Yes. 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 I'm in. I agree. Yes. A toast, then, in her honor. Savor the taste, because you never will again. And let me remind you, we are in this together. One goes down, we all go down. Here's to loyalty. To loyalty. Valentina, it worked. Yes, they all back my plan, your plan. Cortazar will dispose of Burnwood, and Corvo is staging the crime scene, with all the heralds backing my story. Edwards will have no reason for her death. As always, I owe it all to you, my love. Looks like a beautiful day after all. Yes. Good say to you. Remember, Flowers, you never saw a thing. Not a damn thing. It's Yates. Listen, I can't be absolutely sure, but... Sir, this is a no-go. You Man can't pass through here. Head shape. Generically handsome. You know, like a mannequin. Anyway, he's dressed as staff, but he's definitely... your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping and crime. Us. Like we discussed, remote, staged accident. Oh, and Corvo, make it for two. Clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long.
Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. When I provide a distraction, you just... Pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping the crime scene like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequ... ...difficult victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Oh, shit! <sighs> If it's any consolation, Don, your instincts were dead on. I will be constant now. And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence uh, brick uh, by brick. Uh, uh, Finish it. Uh, uh, such a good boy. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately.
interested. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin, transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. Are you still here? Still clinging on to your self-image. Agent 47, the apex predator. Always hiding behind the headlines. Was perfection its own justification? Or a willful distraction? A wall built contract by contract to shield you from the uncomfortable truth. You're exactly the tool they bred you to be. <laughs> Quite a piece of work you are. How could you possibly function on your own? You never even had a name. Until I gave you one. That's him. Burnwood never ceases to surprise me. You really are a most singular individual. And to think, she wanted me to put you down. Lucky for you, I never throw away anything useful. Prepare the serum. Forgetting's not so bad. You've done it before. What's he doing? Is he still looking at us? I'm afraid so. Poor Sap just won't accept his days are done. Perhaps I should take him out to the woods and set him free. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> he was a loyal tool. But everything goes the way of the horse and cart eventually. I couldn't agree more. Are you done? 
The toxins are playing into your fears. Don't let them. Come on. You've got to get your head straight. She wants me dead. She has every right to after what we did. But that's not what is really going on. She chose power. In the end, she was just like them. No. She found a way to turn Edward's own cleverness against him. The rest is up to you. I don't know how. You do know. Diana! Coming! Once you dispose of Edwards, I will dismantle Providence from the top down. It will finally be over. All you have to do is embrace the past. find a catchy name for it. For when we go commercial, I mean. You figure this thing has commercial applications? Who'd want to have their minds wiped? Not wiped, obviously. But that's just fine-tuning. Okay, right now the serum erases long and short-term memory.
Corporation bought this train for sample backup storage, but since the bombing at the R&D site in Johannesburg, they're refitting the cars in the mobile homes. Corporate future.
supposed to be exactly? Ukraine? It all looks the same through the blizzard. Nah, somewhere in Romania. We're on a loop from Zagreb. <laughs>
don't suppose there's any point calling for help? No. Seems I brought this on myself. Well played, Miss Burnwood. Do you really think she'll be able to resist all that power? This is not how people work. She rejects the power, not the responsibility. <laughs> A noble idea. But please join me in the real world. I trust you already know what this is. Why not simply take it? Embrace who you were always meant to be. No, never again. <sighs> well, I had to try. Go on then. Do your thing. At least I die knowing who I am. What are you doing? No! No! This is what it means to lose everything. You're making a mistake. It's mine to make. Oh. <sighs> Forgive me, I seem to have, uh... What were we talking about? Don't worry. We were done. International finance continues as Milton Fitzpatrick CEO Alexander Fannin joins the president of Townsend Oil, while the new founder Tim Quinn and a bunch of other companies step down. It's been a long time. Agent 47. That's not who I am anymore. The pact is done. The past. Death. And yet, here you are. I choose this path because I can. There will always be people like them. So there will always be people like us. No one is untouchable. It's good to be back.
You don't suppose there's any point calling for help? Second thoughts. Perhaps we understand each other after all. Go on then. Free yourself. Lucas Gray was haunted by his humanity. But freedom from choice is also freedom. Everything is so much simpler in black and white. Thank you, my friend. I will take care of you now. All will be well. Wake up. Wake up, my friend. It's the dawn of a new day, and you have things to do.